Welcome aboard folks, I'm Alex, your guide through the vibrant artistic scene of Montreal. Nestled within the heart of Quebec, Montreal is a city that quite literally pulses with creativity. It's a place where art isn't just contained within gallery walls, but spills out onto the streets, into the parks, and permeates every corner of daily life. With a unique blend of North American dynamism and European, specifically French, elegance, Montreal's artistic vibe is truly one of a kind. It's a city where traditional meets contemporary, where murals tell stories of the past, and festivals celebrate the joy of the present. Here, art is more than just an aesthetic pursuit. It's a way of life, an expression of the city's diverse cultural fabric, and a testament to Montreal's enduring spirit. So, fasten your seatbelts, folks. Get ready to immerse yourself in the colorful world of Montreal's art scene that's as diverse as the city itself. Montreal's streets, they tell a story. A story painted in vibrant hues etched on every wall, every alley. These are not just splashes of paint or random doodles, but rather, they are stories, emotions, and ideas that come alive right before your eyes. Montreal's street art is a testament to the city's vibrant artistic culture, its spirit, its zest for life. From the sprawling murals that cover entire buildings to the intricate graffiti that sneak into the smallest corners, every piece is an expression of someone's thoughts, someone's dreams. They are the silent yet powerful voices of the artists, whispering, singing, shouting their stories to anyone who cares to listen. In the heart of the city, you'll find Saint Laurent Boulevard, also fondly known as the Main, a canvas that changes its colors with the seasons. Every June, this place turns into an open-air museum for the annual Mural Festival. Artists from all over the world come here, armed with their brushes and sprays, their minds filled with ideas, ready to turn the gray urban landscape into a riot of colors and emotions. Some of the city's most famous murals have been born here, like the Leonard Cohen mural, a monumental tribute to one of Montreal's most beloved sons, or the Our Lady of Grace mural, a stunning piece that seems to be watching over the city with kind eyes. Each mural, each graffiti has its unique charm, its unique story, its unique voice, but the beauty of Montreal's street art is not just confined to the main, it's scattered all over the city, in places you'd least expect. In the bustling plateau Mont-Royal, in the quiet corners of Mile End, in the hip alleys of Griffintown, you'll find art. Unexpected, unpretentious, and unapologetically beautiful. Each mural, each graffiti, is a voice of Montreal, echoing the city's spirit in the most creative way. They make you stop, make you think, make you feel. They tell you that this city is not just about buildings and streets, but about people, about dreams, about stories. Stories that are waiting to be discovered, to be shared, to be loved. Montreal street art is not just art, it's a celebration of life. A celebration that everyone is invited to. Art in Montreal is a celebration, a festivity that never seems to end. It's a city that thrives on its rich festival culture, a vibrant tapestry of events that punctuate the calendar year with bursts of color, sound, and creativity. At the heart of this cultural symphony are key events that have become synonymous with Montreal's artistic identity. One of these is the Montreal Jazz Festival, an annual celebration of music that has been serenading the city with the soulful strains of jazz since 1980. It's more than just a music festival, it's a testament to the city's enduring love affair with this genre, a love that transcends boundaries and resonates with both locals and visitors alike. Then there's Just for Laughs, an event that brings a different kind of music to the city. The music of laughter. Since its inception in 1983, this comedy festival has been tickling funny bones, proving that humor is a universal language, and that laughter is indeed, the best medicine. And let's not forget the Montreal International Documentary Festival, or RIDM. This annual event turns the spotlight on the art of storytelling through the medium of film. It's a platform that celebrates the diversity and depth of human experiences, a window into different worlds, different perspectives. These festivals, and many more, contribute significantly to the city's artistic vibe. They're a canvas where different art forms collide and coalesce, creating a rich and diverse cultural landscape. They're a testament to Montreal's inclusive spirit, its embrace of diversity, its hunger for creativity. But more than anything else, these festivals are a celebration of life. They're a space where people come together to share experiences, to laugh, to dance, to dream. They're a reminder that art is not just something to be observed, but something to be lived, to be breathed, to be felt. Festivals in Montreal aren't just events, they're an artistic experience, a cultural immersion. They're the heartbeat of Montreal's art scene, the rhythm that drives this city's vibrant, pulsating life. 
Montreal's art scene is a beautiful fusion, where North meets East, where the new world meets the old. This city, nestled in the heart of Canada, is a vibrant palette of cultures, but one influence stands out vividly. The French touch. This European flair brought over by early settlers has woven itself into the city's fabric, creating a unique blend that is distinctly Montreal. Let's take a stroll down the cobblestone streets of old Montreal. As you wander you'll notice a striking resemblance to the quaint boulevards of Paris. The architecture here sings a song of the past, with classical French designs adorning the facades of many buildings. From the Notre Dame Basilica's Gothic Revival style, to the charming row houses of Rue Saint-Paul, the French influence is undeniable. But it's not just in the architecture where you can feel France's touch. The city's theater scene is a direct descendant of the French love for performing arts. The Théâtre du Nouveau Monde, for instance, is a beacon of French theater in North America. Founded in the mid-20th century, it continues to stage French classics, nurturing a love for Molière, Racine, and other stalwarts of French literature among Montrealers. And then, there's the language. French with its lilting cadence and poetic charm is the mother tongue of more than half of Montreal's population. This linguistic heritage adds a European sensibility to the city's art scene, influencing everything from street poetry to song lyrics. Even the city's festivals such as the Francophilie de Montreal celebrate this French influence. They offer a platform for French-speaking artists to showcase their talents, further enriching Montreal's artistic landscape. The French touch is everywhere in Montreal. It's in the way the city looks, the way it sounds, the way it feels. It's in the laughter that fills the theaters, the chatter in the cafes, the brushstrokes on the murals, the French flair of Montreal. It's like the final brushstroke that completes this gorgeous artistic canvas. Our journey through Montreal's artistic vibe, it's been a colorful ride, hasn't it? We've seen the city's heart beating in every stroke of street art, each more vibrant and expressive than the last. We've walked through open-air galleries where every wall, every alley tells a story. Stories that are as diverse and dynamic as the city itself. We felt the rhythm of Montreal's art scene in its festivals, where creativity flows like the St. Lawrence River, unending and awe-inspiring. We've seen how the European touch on Canadian soil has shaped Montreal, creating a unique blend of old-world charm and new-world innovation. We've witnessed how art in Montreal isn't confined to galleries or museums. It's in the streets, in the festivals, in the very air of the city. Montreal, with its street art, its festivals, its French flair, is more than just a city. It's an artistic voyage waiting to be embarked upon.